Hey there everybody, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. I am back again today with another large die of the month from Spellbinders. This is for July 2019, and if you are unfamiliar with what the large die of the month is, it is a part of the Club Kits subscription kits that Spellbinders offers, so there's lots more information that is linked in the description if you'd like some more information on that. Right now I'm just going to lie out all of the dies that you get with this month's kit or this month's set, and this will make a bicycle with a basket uh, when it's all put together. And there's lots of different little pieces, but it's actually pretty simple once you put it all together. So I wanted to show you guys all of the pieces, and then I'm going to go step by step in how you make this bicycle. The really cool thing about this bike is that you can actually make it stand up to be three dimensional, and you can use it as like the a table center, the centerpiece to a table if you're having parties. And the little basket, you can actually put a bottom to it so it can hold candies or tiny flowers, whatever is going on on the party or for the theme. But you can also just make it, of course, just a flat bicycle to use on a card, which is how I'm going to use it today. But I am going to give you the tips that you'll need to making it three-dimensional and stand up. So first we're going to get started and actually make the frame of the bicycle with the wheels. So you'll see this first die here, this is what it cuts out at the bottom, that's the frame of the bicycle. And then you've got the tires and then the sort of like spokes that go on the center of the tire. So I've cut these out twice because I'll need it once in the front and once in the back for the front and the back wheel. But if you were going to do a three dimensional bike, you would need this to be cut four times uh, because you'll need it on the other side as well. To adhere all these pieces together, I'm just using some liquid glue. There's very tiny pieces that you need to get the glue onto to adhere. Um, so liquid glue is, in my opinion, the way to go. So this is what these two pieces will make, and we're going to go ahead and move on to our next set now, which is the actual seat, which cuts out two mirrored pieces. So again, if you're making it stand up, you'll want the front and the back side to look identical so you can see it from all sides. So that's why it cuts out two pieces. Uh, you could use them for just a two-dimensional bike if you'd like to, but you don't have to. And then it cuts out the little rims as well. This sort of reminds me of like a like a beach cruiser bicycle or like a 50s bicycle. And uh, they always have those really fun like rims that sort of go over the tire. And it's just a, a style piece, I think. So I really liked that it came with that as well. And this is what it looks like when you've got the seat and the rims on the very top. And now we're going to go ahead and adhere the pedal and the handlebars. Now for the pedal, it does have a piece that cuts out separately uh, for the actual pedal itself, if you'd like it to be a different color. But I just took a black Copic marker and I'm just shading in that bottom part that's the actual pedal. And I'm just coloring it black because I thought it might be a little easier than die cutting it out at separate time with black cardstock. So now I'm going to use glue to go ahead and adhere that where that belongs. And then for the handlebars, you could actually do this one of two ways if you're doing a two-dimensional two bike like I am. You could just do the one that sort of sticks off to the side, or you could do two. In the end, I end up liking the look of just one better since you're viewing it from the side, uh, but you could take your own discretion on that. I go ahead and trim mine off, you'll see at the end, but you don't have to. So now we're going to make the actual basket. So it comes with the piece that cuts out the basket and then the details that you can put inside the die that make this sort of weaved look. You're gonna cut this out twice because you'll need to make the basket itself. And you do that just by adhering those tabs together. You can see that there's no bottom to this when you first adhere it, and that is actually so that it will fold flat if you'd like to put this on a card and put it in an envelope. If you are making this a three-dimensional bike that stands up, you'll want to cut this basket out twice so that you have one on one side and one on the other. It is a little bit too thin uh, if you're just if you're doing a three-dimensional bike to stand up. So you'll want two side by side to make a slightly larger basket. Now I'm showing you here that when it stands up, you'll need a bottom piece if you'd like to put something in there. So this die comes with it, it has two tabs that will fold up. You can adhere it right to the bottom and then you'll be able to put things on the inside of it. So here is our 
fully assembled bike. Now we also get a small sentiment piece that looks very much, if you're familiar with the truck dies of the month, it looks very much like those sentiments. So you'll cut out the actual sentiment with that border around it and then you get this really fun sort of plate looking sentiment. This piece here is a flag pole, so you can actually adhere the fun time sentiment to the pole itself, and then it will just look like it's blowing behind the bike if you were to put that in the basket. You also get lots of floral pieces, and this is just to make a small floral bouquet or something that goes in the basket of that bike. Um, it's just something to add a little bit more to the bike itself. And I've decided to use all of these with white cardstock and then take some Copic markers and pick and choose as I go which colors I'd like to color them. I find this easier than cutting them out of cardstock only because I'm not always 100% sure when I'm doing all of my die cuts exactly which colors I'd like. So just to be safe, if I do it out of white cardstock, I can pick my colors later. So now I'm gonna go ahead and sort of set this up how I want it. You'll see that I'm only going to be able to get a portion of the bicycle on my card front because I want it to be a vertical A2 sized card. So I'm going to end up cutting the very back of that bicycle off, but I still want this basket on. So I'm cutting the basket down, leaving small tabs, and then I can adhere it together. I ended up making it a front basket on the bike, which I thought was really cool. Like I said, I went ahead and trimmed off that extra handlebar that I didn't need. And then I just added little pieces of those flowers and leaves and made this a really fun sunset bike ride uh, card. I hope that you've enjoyed the video and learned a little bit about how you can use the large die of the month for 2019. Again, all of the links to the supplies, my Instagram, blog, everything is in the description, and I hope to see you back again soon. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you again. Bye.